Okay, so the other day I went to sand a guitar body with some 150 grit sandpaper. And after a couple of minutes of sanding, I realized I was using 100 grit by mistake. I've got sandpaper all over the place. <laughs> I gotta get organized. Hey guys, if you value and appreciate the information that I share here on my Highland Guitars YouTube channel, Consider supporting my channel by visiting eGuitarPlans.com and purchasing a plan for either building a guitar or one of the tools that you can use to build a guitar. And if you would like to help support the channel but want something more tangible, you can purchase a t-shirt from my merch shelf down below. Either way, there's links in the description. At first I was planning just to purchase one of those ready-made stackable organizers like you can find at office supply stores. But when I looked at the price I thought, man, that's pretty expensive for something that's so simple. As a result, I decided I'd just make one myself using a sheet of half-inch plywood and a sheet of quarter-inch plywood. Later in this video, I'll include a full-scale drawing of the parts with dimensions in case you'd like to make one of these organizers yourself. I marked all the cut dimensions for the sides, the back, and both the top and the bottom on a sheet of half inch thick plywood. And I based the size of this organizer on a standard sheet of 9 by 11 sandpaper. After marking out the dimensions for the top, the bottom, the sides, and the back, I proceeded to cut them out on my table saw. And this is one of those situations where, you know, you got to measure twice and cut once. And I got lucky this time. Often, oftentimes I'll measure two or three times and cut two or three times. I don't have a proper dado blade for cutting the slot, so I just had to keep moving the fence on my table saw to get the slots the right dimension. And I made them slightly larger than the dimension of the shelves so that when I slide the shelves in, they don't bind up. Assembly is pretty simple. I glued it together using Type-On wood glue and then reinforced it by using my uh, air nailer with some uh, number 18 brads. And it doesn't really need dowels or biscuits or anything like that to reinforce the structure because once it's all glued together, it's quite strong. And this is just a shelf for holding sandpaper. It's not gonna bear any weight and there's not gonna be any sort of force applied to it. Since this is really just a utility project for my shop, I'm really not too concerned with painting it or putting a nice stain on it or anything like that. Although I can understand how some folks would want to make it look really pretty. And in that case, they certainly can do so, or at very least put down some polyurethane just to seal the uh, wood from moisture. But that's not really a concern with where I live. So. I'm just going to leave this unfinished, and if it ever starts to come apart for some reason, I'll just make another one.
The shells were cut from a sheet of quarter inch thick plywood. And the nice thing about this design is you don't have to fill all the slots with shelves. If you need to, you can leave a shelf out in case you need a bit more space, which is what I found was necessary. Due to the fact that I have more of certain grades of sandpaper than I do of other grades, so I have that flexibility. So this is how I've deployed my sandpaper storage box in my workshop. And I've got it loaded with sandpaper ranging from the coarsest grid at the bottom to the finest grid at the top. And even though this won't guarantee that I'm not going to grab the wrong sheet of sandpaper in the future, I like to think that I've got my sandpaper better organized.